Throughout this uh, series, you may have noticed I've been talking a lot about the collection of documents that comprise or make up the New Testament. And maybe the question has occurred to you, well, Brian, what about the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible, uh, the holy books of the Jewish people? Are they reliable as well? Have they been faithfully transmitted uh, down to even the present day? Well, that's an excellent question. Um, our knowledge of the Hebrew Bible uh, vastly expanded in 1947 when one of the most monumental archaeological discoveries really of all time took place. Three Bedouin shepherds discovered a series of caves in a place called Qumran, and inside these caves were clay jars uh, stuffed with books. Somebody had collected a library and preserved it in clay jars. It was a group of people, actually, the Qumran community. And they stored all of their sacred texts in these caves to be discovered, as it turned out, over 2,000 years in the future. These were, of course, I'm speaking of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls uh, give us documents from all the way to the, the third century BC, before Christ. Very ancient documents. Um, Dead Sea Scrolls are the most important scholarly archeological discovery um, in, in our lifetimes, easily. And they are of interest for a lot of various reasons, but one of the reasons they're of interest is that previous to the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the oldest manuscripts we had of the Old Testament in Hebrew were from the 10th century AD, the Leningrad Codex and the Aleppo Codex. What the Dead Sea Scrolls allowed us to do is look at that text, the same text, almost a thousand years earlier and to compare was the textual transmission accurate over that length of a time span? Um, that is an amazing increase in our knowledge. Now, unfortunately, most of the Dead Sea Scrolls are just fragments. They're just little bits of paper, I mean, and of parchment, and they, they have not survived well. And so it's very difficult to do any kind of detailed analysis of textual transmission when you have a little scrap that's only got a few words on it. But, thankfully, um, there was one biblical book of which we have recovered an entire scroll of the whole thing, and that is the Isaiah scroll from the Dead, from the Dead Sea, or from the Qumran Caves. Um, to the astonishment or amazement of many, many people, when you compared our 10th century uh, codex of, of Isaiah with the Qumran scroll, it was virtually identical. Now, lots of cha little ch minor changes took place in, in the way Hebrew was written, for example. Um, stylistic differences between, um, uh, over time, language changes. But the actual text was virtually identical. It was astonishing to have that kind of precision uh, maintained over the course of that thousand years in which was which was a total gap in our knowledge. The Dead Sea Scrolls uh, do confirm the accuracy of textual transmission. Um, criticism of the Bible and its historical reliability is is an interesting subject which I think that we will I will <clears throat> attempt to get into in in future commentaries. But just to give you a broad overview, um, scholarship has made some pretty extreme um, shifts <laughs> over the course of the last 300 years. You see, it used to be that people said the Bible is just a made-up collection of stories. Uh, it's obvious fiction. Um, before the rise of modern archaeology and uh, the ability to dig down through layers of ancient ruins, people just thought that the Bible was making things up. Um, the Hittite people were fictional. The place names that the Bible gives aren't real places. The names of rulers and empires and powers, this is all fiction. 
well, that, that used to be the way people approached it. Unfortunately, now, um, it's exactly the opposite. Um, the place names are real, they're accurate. Um, they are uh, known. Um, names of kings, uh, those sorts of details are, are spot on. So what's happened in scholarship is that we went from the view that the biblical writers were just kind of incompetent uh, with history and geography and that sort of thing. They were making it all up. Now we've gone from that to, oh no, you see what we now have are, we have writers who are really, really sneaky. And they're so accurate now, according to our knowledge, they're so accurate, it has to be a conspiracy or a ruse um, because now the text is too historically reliable. It's too authentic, it's too good to be true. That's been the swing on uh, historical scholarship of the Bible over the last 300 years. Um, and maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more in future commentaries.